Good morning, everyone. Happy Monday. Great to be here. Sorry I'm a couple minutes late. Running a little bit behind this morning. I have a bunch of tech stuff going on. Getting ready for our launch. And just want to come in and give you another workout today. Today we're going to work on arms. What? Get those arms strong without using weights. We're going to use our body weight. So we're going to do a plank shoulder tap. We're going to do a side plank extension. We're going to do an elbow plank with a forearm reach. Then we're going to do alternating push-ups and we're going to do a tricep box dip. On those push-ups, we're going to be in an incline, okay? So let's get our body warmed up. We're going to do lots of arms today, so we're going to be warming up our arms. Here we go. Get your mat ready because we're gonna be using the mat too, okay? So let's go, let's get ourselves warmed up. We're gonna start with some toe touches first. We're gonna spread those legs out wider than shoulder width apart. Arms are out to the side, shoulders are relaxed. And breathe in and press back with your rear end and touch the outside of your toe. And two. Soft knees on this, you're looking up, your back is flat. I'm gonna turn profile so you guys can see what my back is doing. Flat back, no rounded back, no rounded shoulders. Pull that core up and in. And nine, 10, two more. Press back, last ones. Okay, the next thing we're gonna do are good mornings. So, we're gonna warm up our shoulder blades. We're gonna take my trusty little walking stick. You don't have to use a walking stick or a barbell. You can just put your hands, let me show you this. You can just put your hands on your head, check, uh, thumbs on your cheekbones, and you're pressing back and up and squeezing the glutes. Pressing back and squeezing the glutes, or you're using a barbell, a walking stick, whatever you like. I'm gonna turn profile so you can see what's up. And press back and squeeze. Three, four, make sure those knees are soft, chin is up, chest is up, shoulders are back and relaxed. Eight, Nine, 10, squeeze those glutes. Two more, pull the tummy in, done. Okay, next thing we're doing are some squat twists. So this is that surfer squat twist that we showed you the last week. Feet are a little bit wider than shoulder width apart. You're gonna squat down and twist. Warming up those obliques. We're going to be using them. So you're really reaching with that elbow. Twist, twist. Seven, eight, pull it in. Nine, 10. And last one. Okay, we're gonna do that. Um, squat reach, we're gonna open our palm up and face the opposite wall when we reach. So, feet again, shoulder width apart, knees stay behind that second toe. You're pressing back into the glutes, reaching off to the side. Reach, really open up that oblique, the triceps, the deltoids. <sighs> Make sure you're breathing. Breathe in, smell the roses, blow out the candles. My clients laugh when I tell them that. They stop breathing. <laughs> so it's a great reminder to breathe in the roses and blow out those candles. Really reach. Nine. Ten. Okay, we're gonna do a step jack or a jumping jack. So we have a lot of people that can't jump. So a jumping jack is a step jack modification. 
You're just stepping to the side, full foot plant, knees are soft. You're really using those arms. That core is fully engaged or you're jumping. Seven, eight, nine, pull that core in. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, five more. Four, three, two, one. Whew. Let's get those arms warmed up. Okay, so here we go. Let's do some shoulder shrugs. We're gonna shoulder shrug forward or backwards first. Bounce are forward, soft knees. Full rotations, guys. Full rotations. Full rotations. Five, six. Squeeze those shoulder blades. Look at the shoulder blades. Squeeze. Nine, 10, and then back. Forward, two, three. Squeeze it. Four, keep that core engaged. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Let's do some monkey pumps, y'all. Athletic position, core is fully engaged. Pulling from the pelvic floor all the way up. Pull that rib cage in. And monkey pumps, sorry about that. Chest press, shoulder press. There are so many different names for all these workouts. You can call them anything you want. Get those arms warmed up. Get ready because we're gonna go down on our mat. It's gonna feel like a core workout, but it's both core and arms. Gonna shape up those arms today. Six, five, four, press it in. Three, two, one. Shake that out, shake it out. Let's get our mat. We're gonna do a plank shoulder tap. All of these moves can be done on a bench, on a wall. Um, whatever you like. I'm gonna show you the modification here on my trusty little table. So, plank shoulder tap. You're in that plank position. Your wrists are in line with your elbows. I, I mean, your wrists are in line with your armpits. Pressing and pulling through that navel, up through the chest. Shoulder tap, shoulder tap. Really use those arms, use that body. Nice, even moves. Okay, or you're down on the ground doing this. Shoulder taps. Here we go, y'all. And you can also do this on your knees. So the second modification would be, again, wrists in line with those armpits. Your knees are bent, feet are crossed. Shoulder tap. Press up. Shoulder tap. This is another modification. Or you are up. In that plank, everything's pulled up, shoulder tap. Really keep that butt down, don't lift that butt up. Pull in through that core. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, two more. One, cool, get it, two, cool. <laughs> my sound effects. Okay, we're gonna do a side plank extension. I'm gonna show you the modification up on the table. Side plank extension. Wrist is in line with the armpit. You're in that side plank, feet are stacked. Arm is out and erect, and the foot raises up. Side plank extension, push through the chest. When we're down on the ground, this is another modification. You're in that straight line. Elbows in line with your armpit. Hand is flat. Bottom knee bends. Arm comes up. Leg comes up. Press the hip off the ground. Press through the shoulder. Okay, this is definitely a core exercise, but it is also 
eight arm exercise and shoulder and chest. Advanced move up in that side plank, pull everything in and you're holding. Press through that shoulder, keep holding. We have 10 seconds left and we're gonna switch sides. Pull, 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 pull through that hip. Get that leg up. Woo! Four, three, two, one. Come back down and other side, switch. Here we go, get yourself in that straight line. Okay, body is completely straight. Armpit, wrist are lined up. One foot in front of the other. You're up in that plank and holding. Hee <sighs> hee. And these are definitely a challenge. <sighs> Keep holding. Press, press, press through that shoulder, through those deltoids. Get it. Deep oblique muscles are working here too. <sighs> 10 seconds left, nine, eight, seven, hold, six, five, four, three, two, one. Phew, come on down. Okay, the next thing we're doing is an elbow plank with a forearm reach. So, here we go. And the modification for this you're going to be on your knees. So, elbow plank. This is the modification, guys, okay? And you're reaching out, touching, and coming back. Touch, and come back. Everything's pulled in. Or you are in plank, elbows lined up, reach, reach. Pull it in. Work those arms, keep that chin up, chest up, pull the core in. You see those obliques are working too, right? Forearm reach. Four more, two, and one. You should definitely be feeling that through your pecs, through your deltoids, through the biceps. Okay, the next thing is an alternating push-up. Okay, so alternating push-ups, you guys have seen these before. Okay, so one arm up, one arm down. I'm gonna show you on the wall to start with. One arm up, one arm down. You're in that plank, sorry for the backside view, but I want you to see what's going on here. Okay, one arm up, one arm down and out. Press, up, switch. This is the modification. Press up and switch. Keep pulling. You can also do it on a table. Same thing, okay? Get myself lined up here, one arm up, one arm down. Press, I can smack myself on this TV. <laughs> I'm gonna go down on the ground. Here we go. Down on the ground. One arm up, one arm forward, one arm backwards. Here we go. And push-ups, dudes. Up, switch. All the way down, press through those triceps. Three more. Two. Last one. Press. Nice and solid. Okay, y'all. Tricep box dips. So 
We're gonna use our trusty table. That's a box, okay? And we're gonna bring that out. Okay, you guys, here we go. Last exercise, I'm gonna move this mat out of the way so you guys can see. You can do the Bosu ball for this too. Um, a bench, table, a couch, whatever you want. And here we go. You are sitting on the end of your bench, table, couch, box, whatever it is. Hands are right next to your butt. Feet are slightly out at an angle because you're gonna come off the table and you want your knees and ankles lined up when you come off the table. So here we go, ready? Take a deep breath in and out. Engage that core and out and here we go. Out away from the table, notice that the knees and ankles are lined up. Here we go, press down and up. All the way, stay with the table. Press back and up. Six, seven, whoo, burning. Nine, 10. Here we go, three more guys. Two and one. Woohoo! Okay, that's your arm workout today. Let's get after that arm workout. Tell me what you guys are doing today. It is great to have you all here. Happy Monday. Make this a great day. Go out and seize the day. Get after your goals. Health and fitness is key to sustaining stability, mobility, sanity <laughs> through a lifetime. So you guys have a wonderful day. It's great to see you here. I love you all. We'll be talking to you soon.